In fact, there is a reaction coming in from Swaraj Kaushal himself. I'm going to quote what he says. He says, I was offered to be alternate director on the Indopal board. I did not give my consent. The request was withdrawn. I am a lawyer for Lalit Modi for over 20 years. Rajdeep, this is the first statement coming in from Swaraj Kaushal, just underlining exactly what that email also shows and then indicates later indicates that he, he rejected the job offer made to him by Lalit Modi. Yes, he did. But you know, the fact is, uh, Vedika, you've got to see this in sequence. In August 2013, Swaraj Kaushal writes mm -hmm. to Lalit Modi, who in turn writes to the British lawmaker Keith Vaz, seeking help to get Swaraj Kaushal's nephew into admission into Sussex University. Lalit Modi told us he had already got admission. He didn't know about it, but therefore he tried to help in whatever way he could. Then you've got a situation where Lalit Modi is admitting that Swaraj Kaushal has been his lawyer for 20 years. You've got a situation where Sushma Swaraj's daughter was part of the legal team which was fighting yes. the battle for Lalit Modi to get his passport back. In that scenario comes this information that Lalit Modi bypassing his own board of directors goes directly and offers Swaraj Kaushal a chance to be an alternate director on the company. So clearly this is a proximate relationship. Then you have Sushma Swaraj who in July 2015 directly speaks to James Bevan, the British High Commissioner, directly speaks to Keith Vaz and seeks their help to get Lalit Modi his passport back. Doesn't go through the procedure which she should have gone through, spoken to the Finance Ministry because there's an Enforcement Directorate case against Mr. Modi or the Enforcement Director is suddenly investigating Mr. Lalit Modi. She doesn't go through the process, she bypasses the procedures and speaks directly. One day later, Lalit Modi gets his travel documents. Hmm. The question therefore which will have to be answered and only Sushma Swaraj can answer that honestly. Was it only on humanitarian grounds? Was it because this was a family relationship? Was the family relationship simply at the level where Swaraj Kaushal was not charging uh, Lalit Modi for the legal work? Or was there a financial relationship that existed? I think these are questions which Sushma Swaraj will have to answer. And I feel the Ministry of External Affairs should have responded to the RTI and given clear indication as to why the decision was taken to give Lalit Modi his travel documents. And Sushma Swaraj is the one who will have to answer questions. Her silence means that the Congress will continue to level the charge of impropriety. The Congress has scented blood. And they are determined in some way to embarrass the BJP. Every day they find of one reason. Yesterday it was Vasundha Raja in the context of Dholpur. Today it is the, in the context of Sushma Swaraj and the travel document. So I think that is politics. Mm -hmm. However, the issue of propriety does remain. It's not an issue in this case possibly of conflict of interest because he hasn't taken up the directorship. But the issue of propriety will continue to haunt the Swaraj family because the question is, did they misuse their public office because of a private relationship that they enjoyed with Lalit Modi? Certainly, that's a big question that we're putting here on India today. Also joining me is Moshami. Moshami, that first reaction coming in from Swaraj Kaushal, just take us through the details. That's right. This letter is a big, big catch for the Congress party and with Swaraj's reaction that he declined the offer, the offer was made to him. He's trying to really rub his hands off this entire controversy. But this is a big, big catch because the Congress party, though this letter has not been released from the Congress party, but is making no bones about making it a big issue because, uh, as Rajdeep also said, the Congress is stress stressing on the fact that this is uh, a question of conflict of interest. Uh, Sushma Swaraj has been claiming that she did what she did on humanitarian grounds and here this offer clearly indicates that there has to be a close proximity when Lalit Modi writes that he would wish to appoint uh, Kaushal Swaraj as a, an alternate direct director and he will participate in all the future board meetings in, in his absence. It has to be a close proximate relationship with somebody who you trust and the question is that this is not a legal position, this is not an uh, offer of a legal position and that's where the Congress party is uh, hoping to catch on and uh, linger on to this entire controversy. Uh, they are raising this issue that whether the Prime Minister was of the know-how that uh, there was a close relation not only personal but also professional uh, not only humanitarian grounds but there is a conflict of interest there, is, there are exchanges uh, where, be it um, uh, favour sought or be it financial that's what the Congress party is harping on which Lalit Modi has outrightly denied and clearly uh, as they say when it rain it pours it is it has been a good run for the Congress party from Sushma Swaraj uh, to Vasundra Rajay to uh, the the attacks that it has been but, launching day in and day out but you know the, let's be fair the fact is if I have been the legal counsel for Lalit Modi for 20 years then 
generally companies do offer their legal counsels the possibility of an additional directorship. So this may not be seen as an out of turn favor. Let's yes. be very clear here. I mean, you know, there is politics being played out here. As I said, conflict of interest issues do arise because of the proximate relationship between the families. However, to say that because Lalit Modi offered this additional directorship to Swaraj Kaushal, it only confirms that there is a conflict of interest would be wrong to the extent that if he was his legal counsel, then he could well be getting directorships. It happens all the time. The question is, did wh why didn't Sushma Swaraj make all this public? Yes. When she took that decision to give Lalit Modi his travel documents, that her daughter is uh, appearing as a counsel in Lalit Modi's team, that her husband has this close, proximate, legal and professional relationship with Lalit Modi, that her husband has sought specific favours from Lalit Modi one year ago. All this should have been made uh, put out in the public domain and Sushma would have been in the clear. And she should have followed due process. By not following due process, by apparently doing it by stealth, the allegation will be this was some form of quid pro quo that was going on, that there was a conflict of interest that had emerged. Had this been done in a cleaner manner, Sushma Swaraj could have taken the moral high ground. By not doing it in a clean manner, by doing it by stealth, by the fact that these revelations come out one after the other about the proximate relationship between the families, she puts herself in a more and more difficult position. It doesn't mean as the Prime Minister seems to suggest that she's going to resign. But it clearly means that during the monsoon session, these documents and more will be raised. And clearly it's going to be a washout session, like many say. But it seems that Sushma Swaraj's silence is now really working against her. We have Deputy Editor Brijesh Pandey also joining me live. Brijesh, the Congress attacking Vasundhara Raj, Sushma Swaraj, and now Sushma Swaraj's husband. But in this case, the BJP taking a firm stand, claiming that there's much ado about nothing. Well, absolutely, because, you know, the BJP uh, is, is very clear on one front that whatever the offer was, which was made to, uh, to Swaraj Kaushal by Lalit Modi, the fact of the matter is that he had declined the offer. Had he accepted the offer, then it would have been a completely different case. They are saying that, and they are also saying that the relationship between Lalit Modi and Swaraj Kaushal is not a one-year, two-year uh, relationship. He has been his legal counsel for more than two decades. So, it, they, they have a long-standing friendship and relationship. And in this particular case, in which Congress is trying to portray uh, Congress is trying to show that uh, this particular letter has a conflict of interest. They, have, they, are, they are of the opinion that if uh, Swaraj Kaushal has, since he has declined it, there is no case which is being laid out and the, the Congress is purely paying politics and, and other than that, the BJP is not going to take any kind of action whatsoever against either Shushma Swaraj or Vasundhara Raje as of now. All you right. know, it's coming, Vedika, at the end of the day, I think, to perception mm -hmm. and it's coming to this whole issue of propriety. What is propriety? Is it proper for an external affairs minister to be giving a passport travel documents to someone against whom the enforcement directorate claims there is an ongoing investigation without even informing the finance ministry? And because she took that step, therefore issues like her family relationship with, the, with Lalit Modi, the fact that her, both her husband and her daughter were in some way involved in his legal defense are being raised. And that is an embarrassment. Now, propriety can emba impropriety embarrasses you. But it appears impropriety doesn't force your resignation, at least not in this NDA government. All right, Rajdeep, Rajesh and Moshami, thank you so much for joining us on the top focus of us.